With the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over an edge and press spacebar to open up the Z Modeler Edge Action menu. Locate the Stitch Action. With the Stitch Action selected, you'll have one target down below. Returning to your model and then hovering over an open edge, like these edges here, you'll get a dialog that will say click Start Edge. So just coming across this edge here and clicking. And then now you'll have a dialog that says click Opposite Edge. So I can come down to this edge here and click. And then after that second click, the stitch will be performed. Now this stitch will be performed based on which edges you click. So as I clicked on this edge and this edge, ZBrush generated corresponding topology in between here to create that actual stitch. If I click this edge and then this edge, the stitch will be performed this way. So depending on where you actually start and end your clicks will determine how the stitch will be processed and what topology will be generated afterwards. This process can also be applied across areas of your mesh that may have strange or irregular shapes, like this area here. I can simply come through and click on this edge and then click on this edge and that stitch will be performed that way. So using the stitch function, you can come through and stitch holes that have been generated on your model or use it to change topology until you get the desired effect you want. Thank you.